since the park was established, have there been many visitors who have come because they want to stargaze? Oh, yeah. We have an event every year that gets bigger and bigger, the Stars Over Katahdin. Uh, this year in September, who knows if it'll be virtual or not. But, uh, um, yes, we've got 50 or 60 people. We bring uh, lights in. And this has been done before it was a monument. The, the whole designation was started before it was a monument, and we just took it over. For people who come to the park and want to see the stars, what are some tips? First of all, when should they come? Well, they should come when there's not a moon out to block the stars out, and the sky is clear, so you watch your weather. And we get up, and one of the best places is from the view area. Um, you can see a long ways. Uh, it's kind of funny, a couple of years ago, they went up there and looked, and they saw one light at 3 a.m. with somebody with a headlight climbing Katahdin over in Baxter. There's other areas, any place high, you can see it uh, around Patton, um, anywhere you can get some elevation and see. But the view areas, that's where we hold our event every year. Obviously, having this designation is nice, makes you happy. It brings more attention to Katahdin Woods and Waters, but does it really change anything that much? What? I think one of the things that should change is that this is not about the monument. It's about the whole area being a dark sky, and it's quite a draw. And other parts of the country where this has happened, it's been, it's been quite a draw for an, another, another thing to bring people into the area, into the Katahdin area. So this is just kind of, we're just kind of symbolic that it's dark everywhere. It's not just dark in the monument. Let's talk about what's happening in the summertime at Katahdin Woods and Waters. Obviously, this is a summer like none of us have ever seen before. Is the pandemic affecting operations in the park? To a large degree, no, because uh, we don't get the traffic that some other people get. So social distance is fairly easy. The roads are open right now. Um, we'll be putting signs up to make sure your distance is good. The trails are old. Lots of them are logging roads, and so there's two tracks, so it's easy to keep your six feet. People are careful. I realize it's kind of a tricky balancing act. On the one hand, you want people to come. On the other hand, you have to be respectful of the conditions that are out there as a result of the coronavirus. So what are you telling people right now? Do you want them to come to the park, or do you want them to hold off till maybe August or September? What's the word you're putting out? We want them safely to come. And uh, like this weekend, we saw literally one out-of-state plate. They're all Mainers. We encourage, we're far enough away that we have not seen the crowding yet. So we are saying, come and be safe. There really aren't many places in Maine that are better than Katahdin Woods and Waters in terms of offering some amenities. It's not a plush resort, but it does have some amenities, and it's a, it's a great place for visitors to go to. And yet, you can go there and not only be away from crowds, but really be away from individuals. Yes, today we did the loop road and we saw two vehicles. The North End had nobody over the weekend, so it is very easy to come up and keep your safe distance and have a pretty unique event um, at this time. Do you expect that attendance will be off this summer because of the pandemic? I, I, it's really unknown. I mean, this is the first year we've had signs on the highway, and so we're really hoping that that would be a measure of what it brought in. But right now, that measure is pretty much unknown because you don't know, you can't, there's no, there's no norm to measure to. At this point, um, we'll see what happens when the borders open. Uh, we get a lot of Canadian visitors here. We're only 40 minutes from the border. Um, so we will see. But right now, from all indications, uh, last weekend was not that far off the norm. But it was very... Memorial Day in early June is not, not the busiest time here. We'll see what happens in July, August, and particularly September with the leaves. That will be the telling place.